Hello and welcome back to Pillars. So we are checking out the Belfire Beacon. Sir. Also we are about ready to go and check the performance that we paid a lot of money for. The Belfire Tower. I don't know what this place is. Two white pin. What? What happened to this guy? He just disappeared. Uh, let's talk. do to you, Casita. Casita. The captain flourishes a sweeping bow. When he bends forward, the golden sulanet slips from his collar to dangle on the end of its chain. He tucks it away as he straightens, but not before you notice the etching on its front side. It marks him as the third chair on the consuaglo mes casitas. A word of advice. Guard your back in Dunwich. You have not yet carved a name for yourself or your crew. Yet you choose to swim in a sea of sharks. I kill sharks. If you want to take a bite, the Consuelo will not intervene. Okay, sure. Elsewise, how might I be of assistance? Uh, show him Ben Vetsulonat. I want fourth seat on the Consu... Aglo Mes Mescasitas. Did I earn my place now? The Consuelo will need to vote on it. But with your reputation, and if you vanquished Ben with, as appears to be the case, I do believe you are the most qualified to take his place, Huck. Literally! T ten seconds ago you said I didn't earn my place. I will speak with Ferrante so that he may consider the matter further. Thanks. You have my ear, Casita. Of what do you wish to discuss today? Um, tell me about the Consuglao... Mascasitas. Yes, our council of captains. He tips his hat toward the semi-circle of the elaborately ornate uh, chairs aligned on the other side of the room. There are seven seats on the Consuelo, each occupied by a high-ranking captain within the Principe. Seat holders convene to vote on a variety of issues concerning the Principe's well-being. <laughs> the Principe? Damn, the Principe doesn't like me that much. To claim a seat, a captain must have substantial backing and sufficient power, both politically and physically. Ferrante, the last Marcheso, holds the highest ranking seat because the most ships in our entire fleet have pledged loyalty to his flag. <laughs> substantial backing and sufficient power, both politically and p physically? That exactly describes me, two-eyed pimp. pimp. As you can guess, the Sea Wolf. Aldis commands the second most numerous fleet of ships. As such, she is the second chair, and I am the third. He rolls his neck on his head as if to work out a stiff muscle. Uh, okay. I suppose I'm sorry I asked. Perhaps you would like to attend the proceedings when the Consuelo next convenes. So basically a bunch of self-important captain guides. Uh, why do you speak like a Valian? The captain arches a dark brow. I met Ferrante decades ago. Many years I sailed as his first mate before building my own humble fleet. With an affected truck, he sweeps a hand to indicate the room. When in the Principe, do as the Valians do. Unless, of course, you have no care for tradition or the continued sustainability of our way of life, like some filthy new blood. I despise those guys. How could they not care But you guys are in charge? Everything should happen like you guys want it. Unbelievable, these new people. Is there some one or some place I should avoid like in damage, while in damage? You may have noticed a divide between old blood and the new. By which I mean those who descended from or otherwise hold old Valia in grand esteem. Great. These new blood just don't get that you guys are better. This is crazy. And the varied enough and uncouth recruits we have since brought into the fold. I assure you the latter was supremely by necessity. Though perhaps I am ill-equipped to throw stones. Oh, I know. Imagine that, you actually have to take in the new guys. As a casita of some repute, you will be most welcome in the king's coffin. But you should watch yourself throughout the radiant court. I got it. 
Uh, thanks for that, uh, little talk to I pimp. That's not very, uh, unique. Like, <laughs> two eyes. Why? <laughs> Is it that uncommon to have two eyes as a captain? Captain Ferrante. Uh, seems like he's the only captain here. Uh, other than Ferrante. We can go up to the tower. Uh, what about the rooms on the left? Or room on the left. Anything over here? Some stuff we can steal? I mean, um, borrow, rescue. Captain Frante. Ah, watcher. Good, you have arrived. Chin jutting upward, he grants you a winsome smile. His left cheek dimples as the smile spreads to show teeth. Ahoy there yourself, Captain. What do I be but a pretty bit of man meat to dangle from a wrist? As easily forgotten as set aside. Arms akimbo and had us. A scans, a seraphin smirks. I know that dimple. Had you in my sights once, but you've been down to lace your boot. <laughs> it's the ones who get away that hurt the most. Maya, damn, I like you. A coincidence, surely. Expression tight, her eyes, uh, <clears throat> he eyes the rifle strapped to her back. Ferranta rubs his thumb over his golden sulanet, violent uh, thoughts gliding over his face like dark clouds. Then he smiles, but it's a vicious expression more than a pleasant one. A little seabird informs me that you have dealt with our mutual problem, the scoundrel Benwet. Yeah, may have uh, dealt with like one or two extra guys. It may have been a... We may have had a little bit of a collateral damage and by that I mean like literally almost well not everyone died I think I kept the cook alive how about that are you feeling hungry his eyes glint as a fierce grin cuts across his face and his lone dimple deepens hmm I think the cook is alive Captain Ferrante how about that I don't know if anyone else is alive there's one crew who's just like hell yeah kill Bamford I don't know what happened to those guys maybe they were I think they just stole the ship. God damn it. I wanted to steal the ship. Gelarde, for this you have my grandest commendation. I love it! Principi loved that I kill Principi. Perfect. And I like killing Principi. You'd have been right amused, you would. Few sights as fine as that hard blowing three sheeter getting what's long been doing. Hands on his hips, Seraphin juts his chest forward, blue fur expanding like a bird's plumage. You are lacking in so many ways, my former ship hunter, but no one can say you are not entertaining. I myself would have enjoyed watching you put the scoundrel in his place. He had it coming. That he did. Indeed. Furante strokes his fingers down the line of his jaw, eyes downcast in thoughts. You like that? And as promised, I have prepared for you a fine prize. Really? Really? Seriously? A cloak? Ah, <sighs> what a thoughtful gift, uh, Furante. I like it. However, there is another matter of which we must now speak. Yeah? I must confess to you a bit of a problem has arisen. One which speaks to your expertise with the supernatural. We've sighted the floating hangman that haunts the dead fire. Ooh. It would be nice if my twenty members were uh, close to me. Have we any sketches of it? I wouldn't mind documenting the phenomenon. A few somewhat crude ones. Not many who encountered a floating hangman live to tell the tale, or otherwise record it. Come over here, guys. I need the skill check bonus. This galleon, what likely remains of the Fonferus, is a frightful legend. Fonferus? 
meaning Iron Strength. The Von Ferris is the grand, valiant galleon that Darkozy Pad and Lucia uh, Riven used to flee the burning palace when uh, charged to protect the royal family's sword. Okay. We have been losing ships at sea, Aimika, and not to those Valera ship hunting bastards. I believe the floating hangman may be our culprit. Fortune favors us, as I have procured a survivor from such a recent sinking. You will consider what she has to say. Got it. Head craning abruptly to her to the side, he barks a loud order. Come forth, Selenia. Quickly now, or I will run the rivers of your lethargic blood. Whoa! Uncalled for! At last, he smiles. Looks like a dude. No, never mind that. <laughs> Some blisters and raw bone, the pirate regards you with a discerning glare. She tongues a chapped bottom lip, but keeps quiet. Chapped. Well, spit it out, Selenia, and try not to embarrass me before our guest. Yeah. Of course, Captain. It might have pretty hard near the end, but I spit the tail as best as I can. Yes. The pirate touches a spot at the base of her skull and winces. She glances off to the side, eyes black and full of hurt. Grant the sighs and rubs tirely between his brows. Go on, Mom. Ready as I'm like to get me. With a shiver, the pirate turns her black button eyes to you. Um, I'll try not to press you to remember more than we absolutely need. You will think hard and re recount every detail you can. Understand? Do it even if it hurts, even if it kills you. Whoa! But they, that's not how it works. If you want information for somebody, uh, I suppose, you want to... Uh, well, I suppose you can encourage them to give up information. That's what the cruel option would try to achieve. But if remembering, remembering is indeed the hard part here, then she really shouldn't be scared that I'm gonna kill her any second, I suppose. And she's just gonna think about that. <sighs> I'll try not to press you to remember more than we absolutely need. You aren't quite what I expected, Butcher. You're... She wets her lips. Kinder than most. Well, that, well, I thank you very much. Selena pointedly avoids Ferrante's gaze, a grimy hand scrubbing at her mouth. Saw my old crew slaughtered me, my best mates, and even a few I hated. They weren't but blood and meat in the end. It branded the back of my eyes that moment. High seas. Nothing but blue all around. Then, mist so thick you could taste it. Ships sailed from within. Out of nowhere was a hunt. Not for loot, but for bodies. The ship, it looked... She gropes at her lip, but there's nothing there. Fingers fumbling at the air. As she bares her teeth. Rotted. The crew, they were all undead. Couldn't stop them from boarding, couldn't kill them, couldn't even fight them in the end. Hmm. Tell me about them, the undead. They were dreadful. Some were clothed, like maybe they'd only recently died. Others weren't more than moving bones. One was different. Her presence was overwhelming. Heavy. Flames burned in the place of her eyes. The crew shambled hard to do her bidding. Even the ones who seemed hardly aware. Maybe a necromancer. Figured she was the captain, me. She shrugs, case going far away. There is a flag the floating hangman flies. A flag that once heralded the Von Ferris of Old Velia. It belonged to our Darkotsi paladin of some legend. One Lucia Rivan. But Selenia's knowledge is limited in this regard. Let us instead ask her of a subject she may know. Hmm. How were you taken by surprise on the open sea? Me and my crew were adept. Alert. Always. No. Weren't no one gonna get the jump on us. Well, they did. Was well, some magic foul. Just sudden like, the winds died, the waters fell flat and the air got heavy. They turned sky and the sea both against us. 
Then this thick fog roiled up at midday. Without a sound, the spectre ship. She glides her hand in the air. Skimmed right out. It was too late. We couldn't outsail it. When did this happen? She ruffles a hand through her short hair, scowls. Deny me. Drifted for days, maybe longer. Kept winking in and out after I ran out of drink. One of mine found her no more than a week ago. Malnourished, dehydrated. The poor girl was scarcely able to speak. Well, I'm more than able to gavel now, aren't I? Could sail, too. No, you got no reason to keep me. She flits her hands over the softness of her shirt. Again, her fingers hesitate close to her lip. The fabric crinkled there, where a pistol might normally be strapped. A muscle ticks in Ferranta's jaw, but he otherwise ignores her. Perhaps there is something else you wish to ask of our guest before she departs How did from us. You survived the attack. Calling me Craven? <laughs> sure, I am. She snorts. She rubs at the back of her head, rough like she needs it to hurt. Took a knock in and I was out for a while. When I came to, they were eating Ganasco, our steward. Sounds good. I dropped a dinghy and rode for it. Don't know why they didn't give chase. Don't much care me. That'll be all. Selenia cuts a glance to Ferrante for confirmation, and he dismissively waves her away. Her black eyes narrow and she raises her chin, defiant. But then he turns his full gaze to her, suddenly seating, and she shrinks in on herself. Fist shaking at her sides, she reluctantly retreats. Okay. She belongs to Aldis, who undoubtedly will come to claim her soon. But that is a problem for another time. One moment, Watcher. Captain scowls at Selenia's retreating back, a dark anger warming his cheeks. Wait for the captain to speak. Allow me to cut to the heart of it. Lucia Rivan whose flag flies atop our spectral ship, was a Dakotsi paladin who died more than 200 years ago. Wow, that's certainly uh, an infor important information. Interesting one. 200? It is my hope that uncovering the details regarding dear Rivan's fate in life may illuminate the nature of her undeath and how to defeat her galleon. Unfortunately, the only soul who could possibly shine more light on our situation lies buried deep within Neketaka. We already looted the whole entire place there. One Isir the Baratheon, now well rotted, I presume. Yesir the Baratheon? I actually have spoken to Yesir, did I? His brows hoist high up in his forehead. Meaning what? But at last, you were able to read his soul? Despite how much time has passed? Oh, yeah, what are the other dudes in the. Bera Temple. They say the dead tell no tales, but Yzer uh, was quite talkative. Yzer was mortally wounded, yet refused to wholly die. Instead, he was reborn as an undead to defend Berat's fate for all eternity. God save us from fools who battle with blind trust. But he shakes his head as if he's already accepted the truth of your words. A death guard? How fascinating. And terrible. I must, of course, presume that you've unearthed a promising lead for us. Have I? Perhaps you were able to learn of our Rivan's whereabouts, of where her spectral ship oft anchors. Yazer tracked Rivan after she had become a death guard. They fought near the Isle of Dusk. I guess I made note of that. The captain stokes his. His chin, his gaze contemplative. I can summon to mind no island with such name. Likely it hides now behind another. I will charge my best chroniclers to track our isle through the centuries. I believe you're becoming an invaluable asset to the Principi. And I deeply value each of my assets. You must accept this token of my immense appreciation. Thanks for that. 
Brante clears his throat, then he tugs on the frilled cuffs of his sleeves, his posture more rigid than usual. A matter of a rather delicate nature has arisen, one which I believe could benefit from your, let us say, expertise. An associate of mine is in need of a favor. Well, we just like ignore this whole thing. We just like ready to go again. Okay, sure. He raises his uh, brows pointedly. A favor that necessitates a great deal of discretion. See to this for me, and I will weight you with a considerable amount of coin. Really? How about some specifics? Who might this associate be? A wealthy and influential man. What more do you need to know? What exactly would I be doing? My associate conducts dealings with a group of... <laughs> traders of a sort. The traders are having a bit of trouble with their newest stock. Why the need for such discretion? It involves something of a sensitive topic among the Principi. I'll explain further once I can trust you're fully committed. Well, I'm fully committed to the Principi. You know that. Furante. You can trust me. First, swear it. I have your word on pain of day, Amika. Love read them? I of course. Go on. <gasps> Good. Then you're to head to Crookspur Island, where you'll meet with Master Kua. Kua? He runs the biggest slaver's port in the Dead Fire. However, they've run afoul of the locals. So now, their trade routes are under constant ambush. Unbelievable! The locals are disrupting the local safe tra slave trade? Come on! Have they have no shame? Seraphim's mouth uh, falls slightly open. Vertigo tickles the edge of your thoughts as if you were peering over the edge of the world. I'll handle it. The principal work with slavers? <gasps> Excellent God's damned question, Cap. The Orleans bolt fists shake at his side. No, it is my associate who does that dealing. That doesn't matter. He pins you with a pointed look. My opinion on the trade is of little matter. It is legal, unlike many of our own activities. <laughs> Since when be the fucking laws of Kith of any god's damn concern to the likes of us? I handle it. Flogging fuck. Seraphim growls, his nostrils flaring above a curled lip and crooked teeth. An ice cold sliver of loading and betrayal slides between your ribs and into the space between your lungs. Seraphim turns away and the feeling fades. Gelade. I knew I could count on you. Here. I'll mark Crookspur on your charts. Please. He claps his palms together. When you get there, speak with Master Kua. Tell him I've sent you, and he'll fill you in on what he needs. Thank you. I can't wait to kill more Principi. Great! Come on, uh, Seraphim. You clearly know what I'm doing there. I'm just getting some information out of him. Hmm. What is this? Principi priest? Oh, that would be stealing. Keep it down. What else is around here? Still is upon. No. Do we care about that? Right. No, we don't. That's it. Maybe there's gonna be something to do here, but not right now. I think it's... We can do some murdering, but if we do that, if we... If we kill any shady guy, then we're gonna run out of missions to do. And we're just gonna do a bunch of murdering. So that's not the best. Several brutish looking thugs emerge from the nearby alleys. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Lovely day, right?
They just they don't even want to talk, they just want to kill me. Well, well, if it isn't Arca's new business partner, that's quite a lot of coin you two exchanged. Oh, right. Parker's dead? It was a one time deal? <laughs> He's not dead. What is it to you? Everyone knows Arca's aiming to come out of retirement and slice off a bigger part of Dunnage for himself. Maybe he even wants to steal a seat on the council. We can't be letting someone of your reputation back him, now can we? No. Think I'll send him your head. As a reminder to stick to selling grog and flea infested beds. I love it. <sighs> Yeah, the tentacles are not the best there. But these guys suck. Ooh, Mindbender. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What? Why can I see that I loot them? I, I can loot them. No problem. No problem. Oh, can we rest? No, we can't. We can only bait. That's a you bummer. Must gather your party, uh, yeah, we're going back to Radiant Court. Uh, I think that's the only thing that we can do around here. Uh, both to... Uh, see the play. And uh, to... Get partial reward for the bounty. That... Uh, performance better be awesome. Yeah, this is all we got. We need to come back to Dasiral. I welcome your return. Dasiral gives you a warm smile. Mm. I killed Torkar. I'd say it's a shame to have 5, lost such a brilliant mind, but Torkar didn't give you any choice. Yeah. That's one down. Just three left to go. Alright, that's good. So... Hey, Calandra. Do they like me more around here now? A repeat cast. What can I stop you? Oh yeah, discounted items is only zero. I don't know. How much How much more they like me these days? Uh, let's check out the reputations. So we got Port Maya likes me. Variant Trading Company doesn't like me much. Royal Deathfire Company kind of likes me. Devil's Rule Criminals, I don't know about that. The Purple Free, well, that's not a minus. The Galette kind of likes me. Principe, do they like me? Seems like the Principe is coming around. Uh, we were definitely in the. Um, <laughs> are they kind of coming around now? It's like okay, maybe maybe you're not not such a bad guy. But Veiling Trading Company? I can't say I'm our biggest fan with them. Juana. Juana have their own group. And, uh... Yeah. Watcher and Elot. We don't have the best uh, relationship with Elot. He never comes on missions. Partially because he's a, he's a pure wizard like me. I did like Thanks a lot. Thanks for bringing Tayana back to us. Game one. Her storm and weather spells will really strike an atmosphere for the play. Oh, lovely. Uh, okay, we're ready for this. And now that we've got a real big brute for Aesis, we can put on a proper play. Sure. Stick around for the performance. I think you'll be plenty pleased. Well, I'm looking forward to it. She spreads her hands as if about to take a bow, but instead she snaps her fingers together as, and the stage darkens behind her, signaling the start of the show. Alright, let's see this. Ladies and gentle pirates, and rapscallions too, 
Uh -huh. You are in for the truest of mental treats. Without further ado, I present the Green Menace. Let us begin with our valiant new blood crews. The Lusty Rudder and Fortune's Folly. Two ships adrift at sea for weeks and weeks on a venture most daring. In search of the uncharted islands. Woe and torture. Months at sea with no treasure to show for it. You sure these uncharted islands exist, Captain? We ain't seen land for days. Were they easy to find, they'd be called the Chartered Islands, wouldn't they? If you're land thinking ho! to mutiny... Land ho! Got a lumpy-looking island coming on the horizon! Speak! That's no island. That be the Green Menace. We are doomed for sure. Souls and gold and glory. You will give these to me. For I am a god among gods. And a true menace upon the seas. Souls and gold and glory. Blame the dawn stars, for they It'll have the summoned me. For us, it will. And now, Alondra, take me now I must feed. And that's the story of how Aethus sank a fleet of our best Tars. Like the floating hangman, you see the green men is coming. You sail the other way. Thank you. Donations and gratuity are greatly appreciated. Uh... They love us, do you see? They gods damned loved us thanks to you. 1,500 copper? Wow! How much did these guys pay for the performance? That's insane. We paid 1,400 for the woman. That's crazy. Well, okay. I didn't hate it, and it was short, I suppose, so... Thanks uh, for the performance. And, uh... Just do your thing, I guess. <laughs> Donage, we are, we are done here. You must gather. Yeah, let's just leave the town by sea. We've done enough. And we can find this special Principi Captain around here. And we can uh, also deal with the slave trade. How about that? It doesn't mean we have to be slavers. It just means that uh, we're gonna probably deal with the slave trade. You received an important missive from Captain Aldous. Read. So, you had a little run in with Ben, and then you dragged it to my doorstep. You could have wiped your feet before you stomped in, but I digress, digress. I know what you did, and I know who you are, and unlike my unfortunately blockheaded second in command, I recognize a threat when it smacks me upside the head. So this is me, Captain Aldous, commander of the God's Damned New Blood Principi, leader of the second largest fleet of, the, of pirates in the God's fucking death fire. Inviting you, a terrifyingly powerful and strange watcher, <laughs> damn, I think he has a crush on me, to come and meet with me under the strictest parley at Fort Deadlight. Which is to say, I promise not to gut you when you arrive for dinner and drinks. Looking forward to having a little heart side chat, I would like to offer you a partnership of the most glorious and gorious variety. I scratch your back, and you got my enemies from hip to jaw. You laugh at their deaths over a bottle of the finest rum. That sounds like me. Oh, and when you come, bring some candied nuts. 
your newest and dearest friend, Aldous. This is not a trap. <laughs> We're not gonna destroy the light, I put in stash. Before venturing forth. So we can go to Deadlight. Poor Deadlight is over there. That's that's Dunnages. Uh, that's something we can't deal with. Wait, what? Are we running low on repair supplies again? Can we just stock up before we go? Supply. These guys don't completely hate me. So, that just makes it awesome. To buy repair supplies here, I guess. Medical supplies? Oh, we are... Out of medical supplies as well. This is bullshit. And look at this. This is this costs like a bloody fortune. Okay, let's do that. That's a lot of That's a lot to spend on those things. Captain Quarters. I I, I can't. We can't. Like I'm super broke. You kidding me, game? I cannot. So we have Door Old Forvin, who looks like a, a challenge from the slavers. Whoa, we are. Wow. We are on course, I guess. Damn, really? Really? Damn. Better watch out, slavery scum. Um Okay, um I, I, Hey mateys, um uh, about the slaver that we are really uh trying to get. Uh they are like right next to us. I know it's just I just kinda pointing it out. Maybe try that. Oi slavers Captain Vessel approaches um, give no quarter, charge. That's a lot of damage. The game really does, does want to discourage you from doing that. On second thought, enter combat, advance. That's, that's long distance, actually. Give, give, I, I just rush in. There's a mod that, uh, uh, Eliminates the, the the damage you take when you actually uh, just decide to uh, jump straight to the the fight. I, I I saw it and I I actually considering using it because then you have the option like do you really want to go for the ship fight, uh, which is I think just easier, but also uh, not for everybody I suppose. I don't particularly enjoy it. At least uh, doing it like over and over again. If it was like a one-time thing, like sure, sign me up. But it's not particularly interesting. Like barely anyone around here. Okay, let's just group up properly. Whoa, this is bad. Oh, they are overrunning us. Oh, that's not what I want, actually. Sorry, friend. You need to terrify them. Just the guys who are close to us. Are they terrified? Three of them are terrified. Can I terrify the rest of them? Does it work? Do the terrify thing. This is a disable. The very useful disable. One of the strongest disables in the game. Better wizard. Oh, it did that. Alright, we got them all. So we got some. Uh, crap. Put some more crap. Perfect. Let's take all and continue. Oh, 
Oh, we need to sell the loot. We need to sell the hall. I don't know if you've managed to piss off anybody by taking out the slaver ship. I don't think this we can uh, attack the Deathfire Merchant. At least, I think there is like one Deathfire Merchant that I can't attack. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go there. Let's just go to Fort Deadlight then. Uh, let's see what this guy wants to talk about. Party management, sure. Anyway, guys. Oh, yeah, actually, we should just rest up. Yeah, wait. No, no, no. Not right. Rest. Proper rest. Rest. Anyway, guys, this is a good time to take a break. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.